Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to Wales Tales. My name is Greg. And for some fucking reason, this commentary does not want to make its way out of my brain. Or something like that shit. I don't know, man. God damn it. I've been trying for a while now. This is like probably take fucking 20 or something ridiculous. But, uh, man, I'll fucking get it. I got the whole day off. So, I'll, I'm gonna get it one, eventually. Um, anyway, Jesus Christ. This is my farewell to uh, Black Ops 3 video. I wanted to have fun with this one, but now I'm starting to get fucking pissed. Anyway, I'll, I'll try and, uh, I'll try and put a smile on my face <laughs> for the rest of this shit. Um, okay. Anyway, um, I actually wanted to get this up before Infinite Warfare even got released, but then it came out and I started playing it nonstop, and uh, it's actually been a lot of fun, but uh, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm doing this shit, so anyway, like I said, it's my farewell to Black Ops 3 video, and, uh, and I definitely wanted to send Black Ops 3 off into the history books, um, kind of give my like final review on the game, so that's what I'm hoping to do in this video, in this commentary. Talk about what I liked about Black Ops 3, what I thought could have been improved, um, and just give my overall review. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show off my stats. So if you want to see that, um, you can stick around. That'll happen, I think, around the 10 minute mark. So, um, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And the gameplay that you're watching is one of my best gameplays from Black Ops 3. It's um, definitely a very special gameplay for a player like me. It's not something I can do very often. I think I went 58 and 4 in this one. Called in four wraps ships, so um, definitely a very memorable game um, for me. And so here it is in my farewell um, video. Um, yeah. All right. So let's jump right in. So let's start off with the shit that I liked about Black Ops Three, and um, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So uh, first of all, I am mostly a challenge hunter when it comes to Call of Duty games, and I thought the challenges in Black Ops Three were really well done. I know a couple of them were kind of bugged and glitched and fucked up, but um, even still, for the most part, I thought they were um, they were good challenges. Like, uh, let's see, what the fuck? Um, well balanced in the sense that they were tough. They were, you know, they, they were good, challenging challenges, but also they were doable. I mean, you didn't have to be some sort of super duper fucking MLG player to get them done. Um, so, so I thought that was a good balance. You. You, you could get them done, and I was able to get 100% completion in this game, um, while still sort of feeling very proud of myself and feeling like I actually accomplished something pretty cool. So I liked that. Um, good job, Treyarch, for doing that. Uh, let's see, I like the pace of the game. I like these sort of faster-paced Call of Duties, and I know a lot of people had problems with Advanced Warfare being too fast-paced, and I thought Black Ops 3 um, did a nice job sort of balancing that. Um, so good pace. I thought the specialists were pretty well done. I know some of them were definitely a little bit stronger than others, like Ripper was obviously stronger than fucking Rejack. But still, yeah, there was a good diversity even at the end of Black Ops 3 of people using different specialists. And um, and I definitely love me some Ripper, but uh, I'm definitely going to fucking miss that actually in Advanced War or in Infinite Warfare. I'm already missing that actually, but um, but yeah, it was it was good. It was fun. I like using all of them actually. I like using all the different specialists and, um, and I really thought they did a good job of that. I like the new game modes that they introduced. I liked Fracture a lot, obviously. It was a great way to earn score streaks. And I like Kill Confirmed and Hardpoint, and I thought it was a really cool sort of conglomeration of those two game modes. Um, so a lot of fun and also a great way to earn score streaks. And then also Safeguard was really unique, and it was really, um, really good for completing challenges. And I think that mostly came down to the fact that you were in a lot of interesting and unusual situations when you played Safeguard, just due to the fact that the objective was sort of unlike any other um, in uh, any other Call of Duty game mode. It's very, very different game mode. I mean, I don't know. I thought so. Um, so it was fun. I liked it. Um, thought the the kills could have maybe been worth 75, but uh, other than that, really nice job with that game mode too. Um, I, I thought the maps were good for the most part. They were, uh, yeah, they were, they were nice. They played well. Um, they had a good flow. So I like the maps. Um, I thought the score streaks were, were pretty fair and balanced. Um, and, and they were definitely balanced out by the, the fucking Black Cell launcher, which was a great launcher, man. Holy shit. I love the Black Cell. I'm gonna miss that. Um, four rockets, man. Jesus. That was nice. Um, but yeah, good score streaks. A couple of exceptions there. Uh, I'll talk about that, but overall, I thought the score streaks are good. I thought the spawn logic was pretty good. Um, not too many complaints about weird fucking crazy spawns. So, um, mostly pretty good spawn logic. Um, 
camping was pretty balanced, I thought. Um, it, uh, you know, it was definitely in the game, and it's always going to be in the game. But it wasn't overpowered. Like, you, you, you couldn't just camp it out for an entire game and, you know, post a nuclear, usually. I mean, it was pretty easy to deal with a camper um, in this game. Um, and the weapon balance was fucking amazing, I thought. I mean, Jesus. You could use pretty much every gun. Like, the pistols were good. You could use anything and, and have a good game. And um, and that was great. That was really fun. I like using all the weapons, going for weapons camos. So it was nice to uh, to have that be um, that be nice. Um, I do have, I guess, like one exception to that. But um, but for the most part, I thought the weapons were really fair and balanced. So good job with those. Um, so that is what I had for my um, the things that I really, or at least that I remembered um, specifics that I liked about Black Ops Three. And overall, though, I definitely liked the game. Like, I, I had a ton of fun playing Black Ops 3. I thought it was a really good Call of Duty game. I also really liked Advanced Warfare. Um, and so I'm not sure if I liked it more than Advanced Warfare, or about the same, or maybe slightly less. I still can't really decide. But, um, and then it's hard to compare it to sort of the older Call of Duties. Um, I mean, I started with Modern Warfare 2, and then I took a break after Modern Warfare 3. Um, but I don't know. I liked it. It was a good game. Um, but there are definitely a couple things that I thought they could have improved, um, and so let's talk about those real quick, too. Um, sniping was not super fun for me in this game. It was, like, pretty fucking hard. I'm a terrible, shitty, god-awful sniper, so... Um, so the fact that they re removed aim assist altogether from the bolt-action snipers, and they still had booster packs in the game, m made sniping sort of completely awful for me. <laughs> um, it was, uh... Yeah, it was a struggle. Um, that was kind of like the one weapon um, weapons class in the game that was uh, just way weaker than all the rest of them for me. And I think you'll see that as I go through my weapon stats, uh, with my KDs with all the guns. Um, so anyway, um, they definitely have kind of, uh, they put aim assist back on on the sniping um, in Infinite Warfare, and I'm having a good time with sniping in that game so far. So um, I don't think it's overpowered in that game, I just think it's a little bit more fair and balanced and, and kind of on par with all the rest of the guns. Um, Sixth Sense was a little ridiculous as far as perks go, and also Awareness. Um, I think they've kind of gotten rid of those in Infinite Warfare. I'm not actually sure. There might be like a Sixth Sense style perk in that game. Um, I used Awareness a shit ton, and I also used Sixth Sense when going for Ninja Diffuses, but I definitely have to admit that those perks were a little overpowered. Um, let's see. I actually, for some reason, didn't really like Domination in Black Ops 3. I don't know if it was just that I got used to Advanced Warfare Domination. It's super fucking fast-paced. And that was, like, all I played in Advanced Warfare. But anyway, that's just probably a personal problem, I guess. Um, gun Game, though, I thought they kind of fucked up Gun Game. And they still haven't brought back um, Gun Game in, in Infinite Warfare the way I'd like. They, um, or I haven't actually played it, but I know that you can't be in a party. Um, and, man, I love playing Infinite Warfare. Or, what the fuck am I saying? Um, gun Game. <laughs> fuck, man. Uh, with friends. In previous Call of Duties, that was like the fun of it. You, you got to play free for all, but you were like in a party with friends. That was fun, um, and I wish they'd do that again. But um, I also didn't like the fact that the UAV was on um, all the time in Black Ops Three and Gun Game. That, that just sort of seemed weird to me. I don't know if they have it that way in Infinite Warfare or not. I haven't played it yet, as I said. But anyway, those are a couple things I didn't like about Gun Game. Um, I also missed the sniping only game mode, and I so far they haven't. They don't have that in Infinite Warfare either. And I liked those game modes. Those were fun games. Um, I want those back. So please put those back in the Call of Duty games. Those are fun. Um, the Yeah, as I said, some of the challenges were bugged. That was a little annoying, but that wasn't too bad, really. Um, you could kind of figure out what the deal was with them. Um, the power core was kind of the one score streak that was, like, way more useless than all the rest. It just, like, it, it just wasn't worth it to go for it. Um, and so I don't think, uh, I don't think Hardwired should have counteracted it. That, that seems strange um so that that would have been a, a great way to kind of give it a little bit of a buff um and most of the black market shit i'm not a huge fan of that i understand that call of duty is a business or it's a product you know activision's a business and that's how they make some of their money but i understand that um but you know it doesn't mean i have to like it so um so you know that's always a little annoying um just the sort of it wasn't really pay to win i don't really think um but still it, i was you know it was always like man i kind of wanted to get the ffar and i didn't ever get it so so that was a little frustrating um kind of just kind of kind of was a dr little bit of a drag after a while but um yeah but whatever i mean that's seriously i'm not it doesn't bother me as much as i think it bothers some people um I did get some fun supply drop weapons, like the one I'm actually using in this game, the uh, R70 Ajax, which was definitely not the best gun in the game at all, 
but it was fun to use, um, and uh, and I actually managed to have a really good game with it here. So, yeah, that's. Um, oh, and one last thing, I guess. Actually, sometimes the team balancing was a little fucked up. I, I mean, there were times where I'd lose like ten games in a row, and I'd be like, "God damn it! Put me on a fucking winning team once in a while." Um, so, <laughs> but no, I, I overall. Black Ops 3 was a ton of fun, and I, I really thought they did a nice job with it. So anyway, here we go. We got the stats now. So um, you saw my overall KD, I think 1.38, score per minute, two, 249. I was trying really hard to get that up to 250, but I, I fell just short. I, I played very slow at the beginning of this game. You used a lot of H60s and shit and uh, manually controlled Cerberi. That's my plural for Cerberus. Um, so here's my... Uh, Here's my, uh, yeah, my weapon stats, my KDs and shit. As you can see, the snipers are really low. Everything else is usually above one, except for I think the Weevil um, was pretty low because that's what I was using when I was going for Thermite kills. So I, I destroyed the Weevil. And also the Dingo I had on my, like, anti-score streak class when I'd be getting just fucked by raps and wraiths and shit. And so um, the Dingo kind of got uh, damaged a little bit as far as KD goes. But um, I actually really like the Dingo. It was a great gun. Um... Yeah, so anyway, um, I don't know what's up with the black hat stats. Um, somebody bl somebody hacked my black hat stats, right? Huh? Uh, so anyway, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, here we go. Um, specialists. Look at that. Ripper, baby. Damn it. I'm going to miss Ripper. Oh, well. Um, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I definitely don't think it was super fair. I mean, that was one thing that was probably a little overpowered in Black Ops 3. I have to admit it. Um, but, oh my god, it was so fun to use. All the rest of these, I mostly just use for the hero challenges. Um, except for combat focus, I used a lot of combat focus, um, for getting streaks. Like, I was using combat focus in that gameplay. Um, and, um, yeah. So, I'm not sure why Glitch says 99, that should say 100, because you needed 100 to get 100% completion. So, that's... There's a glitch in my glitch stats. Man, this game is just giving me the puns. Um, or these stats, whatever. Uh, okay, and then score streaks. I used a lot of care packages, so that's kind of a pretty typical care package spread. Um, I did run the hardened sentry a lot, and um, and rates I ran from time to time, but otherwise mostly care package shit. Like, I don't think I ever ran the GI unit. Um, motherships, I probably earned maybe 10. Um, maybe not even that many, maybe 8 or 9. Um, and here we go, game modes, a lot of TDM. I do, li do like some, uh, some TDM for challenges, because uh, newbier players usually play TDM, and they make it easier to do challenges. Um, so there's that. And then a lot of 50s here down at the bottom, because you need 50 wins in order to go for those, those challenges, those wins challenges. Um, so there's all that shit. Um, next up, I think we've got medals. Um, yeah, so... Here are some of the things that I didn't earn very often. I got one mega kill. Um, that was actually with the R7G Ajax as well, and Ripper. That was in a game of Demolition, and I really fucking wish they had put Demolition back in Infinite Warfare. I liked that. Two Relentlesses. Um, actually, just got one of those, the second one, really recently. Um, and I think I went up to like a 23, and I was just like chatting with a buddy. Um, he wasn't playing, I was just chatting. And I was like, damn, dude, I'm on a Relentless. And then I just kind of continued the conversation. I wasn't really trying. And then after the game, I was like, you know what? I probably could have gotten a nuclear that game. I've never gotten a nuclear. Why didn't I, like, focus up? I don't know. I don't know what it... Uh, it didn't register in my head, but whatever. Anyway, um, what are we looking at here? Uh, oh, yeah, specialists. I've um, got that one erased medal. Look at that. Three or more kills with the hive. I didn't use the hive hardly. I, I'm sure I could have gotten more of those. I remember getting that one, though. I was like, oh, shit. That's cool. Um, so... Anyway, anyway, let's move on to anti-specialists. Nope. Okay. I yeah, it would have been good if I had done this live, huh? But uh, I still don't have a setup for live commentaries. Here we go, anti-specialists. Um, look at that. See, ice medals, man. Look at that. What is that? Forty-five. I can't see it. Forty-five or forty-six, something like that. Um, that got easier. Um, definitely at the beginning of the game, that was like, holy shit, how am I going to get my 10 ice medals? And then, pretty much right away, right after I got the 10th one, it, was, it just started becoming a lot easier. People started running more heat wave. Um, what are these? Anti-score streaks? Look at that one TKO medal. That was kind of cool. It's destroying a lightning strike. I had to do that with a power core. 
I remember that was kind of interesting. I was like, oh, I destroyed a lightning strike. Look at how many uh, light switch medals I got too. Hopefully that makes some people jealous who are still going for uh, the power down. There were times when I destroyed power cores and I already had the power down challenge done and uh, I felt like a huge dick, but um, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe part of me didn't want anyone else to get it. Is that, is that terrible? That might be kind of terrible. I don't know. Anyway, fuck it. They can, they can struggle through that. I struggled through it. Uh, yeah, so that pretty much is gonna wrap this up. So anyway, I hope you, hope, hopefully, hopefully, Jesus Christ, hopefully you enjoyed, and, uh, and hopefully you stick around for some Infinite Warfare videos. Um, we will, uh, we'll definitely be covering Infinite Warfare, and then we'll see. I might actually cover some COD 4 Remastered as well. Um, depends on how quickly I move through Infinite Warfare challenges. So, um, yeah, that's what we got coming up. So, hope you're having a great day, and I'll catch you later. Peace.